I have something very interesting and unique to show you. I'm at Santa Clara Mission Cemetery in Silicon Valley, and this cemetery is doing something no other has before. They are going high tech to connect the dead with the living through smartphones. When you think of a cemetery, you don't think of technology. The ability to add ceramic tile color pictures onto grave markers and headstones was the last new thing to come to cemeteries. Intermobile technology, which is slowly changing everything. And now it's transforming the way loved ones are memorialized. Here's what Santa Clara Mission Cemetery is doing. A cemetery visitor can scan a QR code added to a headstone. Instantly, through a mobile application, you would see a digital online memorial of the person who has passed including a biography of them to learn about who they were. The app shows pictures of them and their life up to 500, depending on how many the family members upload. A person could record a voice message for the family right there through the mobile app. Or they could write a text message in a virtual guest book for the family to read. One could post this digital memorial to their Facebook, Twitter, or other social networks for loved ones anywhere in the world to see. When I heard about this, I thought it was a little creepy and over the top, but upon visiting the cemetery and seeing it from their point of view, I think it's a really groundbreaking idea that most cemeteries will eventually embrace. If you think about it, cemeteries are really a place for the living, a place to visit, a place to remember, and reflect on family members and friends. If you had a family member you knew nothing about, and you sought out their grave and you visited it, you would still know nothing about them. But with this mobile app, you could learn about them. Or think about it this way. Hundreds of years from now, when your great-great-grandchildren are going to visit your grave, this is a way for them to learn about you. The QR code and system are an add-on to a final resting place. Some features are free and some you pay for. The family has to provide and approve all the initial content about the deceased family member. For more information on this, log on to cron4.com and look for my tech page. Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.